Hi, my name is Israel and this is my project by the play. A few weeks ago I made a video for Instagram where I was using two iPads, my uh, 6th gen iPad and an iPad mini 2. In the 9.7 iPad I was using AUM and a bunch of other apps, music apps. And in the iPad mini I was using Touch OSC uh, to control the apps in AUM in the other iPad. I thought I would make a walkthrough video explaining how I made that. So the way that this the song for this video started was with some vocal recordings that I asked my friend Lisette from Guadalajara to send me. which I think she recorded those in her phone and sent them via an SMS message, which I then exported to AudioShare. And from AudioShare, uh, imported into Borderlands. So uh, for Borderlands to work in AUM, uh, first you need to open it as a standalone and you know do whatever you want to do so let me import the other uh, samples um, if you don't know how to um, import samples into uh, borderlands from audio share you have to click on this corner in that little symbol this menu opens and you can uh, tap on import and choose uh, the sample or the recording you want to import into borderlands and you know repeat as many times as you need to so yeah if you open AUM inside uh, I'm sorry if you open borderlands inside AUM for some reason, it doesn't work like that. So that's what I did. I imported the recordings that my friend sent me into Borderlands and experimented until I got uh, what I wanted to use and saved that. Yeah. So now, um, as I said, to make this work in AUM, first you have to open Borderlands as standalone. Well, it works like that for me. I don't know if it works like that in all iPads, but I'm using, uh, as I said, a sixth generation iPad running um, iOS to 12.2, 12.3. This is what I have to do first, open Borderlands standalone and, uh, you know, open uh, whatever project I have in Borderlands and then uh, open Borderlands in AUM. Where is she? Oh. Enter right here. Good. Now, it works, I can do that. That's how this project started with that. And then I started uh, adding uh, instruments and let me open the project. I remember the first uh, thing I added was this beat hawk uh, beat. So I have this um, kit with some uh, sounds that I've recorded and uh, I think this is from the trip hop uh, the trip hop kit or sounds from uh, that you can buy in BitHawk and some uh, world percussion and I This is 
from also from the beat hop store i don't remember uh, where that came from but yeah it's from the beats beat hawk store and so i made that beat after that i added uh in sector I added this the warped electronics, the rough DJ bass from noise, the rolling noise app. That's that. And um, the last thing for the lead sound was this um, the, um, that's a preset from Geo Shred and I added some um, filter that's the ESF one from Numerical Audio it's a really good app, a really good filter app. And um, then um, I also, also use the um, Fag and Volver sidechain for um, the bass. Okay, I know I didn't really explain uh, what was going on with Fag and Volver or how it controls the volume, but basically what uh, Envolver does is it sends MIDI, it transforms uh, input audio into MIDI, and then that MIDI uh, can be used to control other parameters in AUM or uh, another audio unit. I think that deserves a full tutorial later on, so for now let's keep it simple like that. I'm sorry. That's uh, what was happening in this iPad. And to control Tornado and the Resampler um, app, which is free now and it's awesome, I used Touch OSC on this iPad. So first, to make these two iPads communicate, what I did was open meter meter or meter this app then tap on advertise oh sorry first I will have to open the menu so click here in that uh, symbol then go to settings and I normally use the central option then on the other iPad, I click here and tap here in Advertise MIDI Service. So now my iPad is showing here. I click there. And now they are connected. So I then go to Touch OSC. And um, make sure that I am broadcasting or sending the MIDI to iPad Bluetooth and uh, choose your layout. In this case I made a layout uh, with uh, four XY pads. Okay, um, I also don't go into how I made the layout, the Touch OSC layout. I kind of assume that you, if you use Touch OSC you know how to make your own layouts but if you would like to see a deeper explanation on how to do that 
uh, leave that in the comments, please. I'm sorry again. And a bunch of faders and some buttons. I'm not sure I used all of them in here in this project, but um, you also have to go to AUM and uh, there are two ways that you can do this. You can click on these three lines and click on MIDI control and then uh, MIDI sources and choose iPad Bluetooth. That's one way. Or another way is that you can click on the title of the track, the name of the track, then on this symbol right here, which is MIDI control, and tap on MIDI sources and choose iPad Bluetooth. Let me put the fisheye lens so you can see both iPads at the same time. To map the parameters to whatever control you want to use, in this case I'm going to map the tornado parameters to these uh, pads. Um, what you have to do is tap on the name, tap on this media control icon. I didn't tap, I tapped on the name, so let's try that one more time. And then um, we already selected the media source and this is uh, working. So now let's go to the tornado parameters and control one. And you click on learn. Now, for some reason, it's telling this um, uh, is telling AUM, TouchOS is telling AUM that this is CC0. I know that this is CC21 and that it's actually sending it through channel 3 or on channel 3. It's also a good idea to know Especially when you're using XY pads, it's a good idea to know what uh, CCs or what um, number CC you're sending with them. If I tried that with a fader, for example, with this fade, this purple fader right down here, let's try that. I don't have that problem. I have to know if it's uh, the Y axis or the X axis. And um, yeah, so uh, it's a good idea to remember when you're using XY pads, um, what to remember what CC, you can write it down. And then I map the resampler mix to, I believe it was this, this orange fader. Nope, it was this one there, yep. I think that's blue. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what color this is, and it shows this different color on the video anyway. I also mapped uh, the um, send amount to this, and the send amount from this, the base to this fader, the send amount from BeatHawk to this fader and the send amount from GeoShred to this yellow fader. In the video, you, you can see that I have this open like this. I try to map the start stop to one of these buttons, but um, for some reason that I haven't found um, how to so how to fix yet it only works as a stop uh, control you, when you want to start it it doesn't work uh, at least for me I don't know and I also have this open down here and this was open here so I could have that now let's watch the full minute of the video I posted on Instagram.
So that's it. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like, the thumbs up, like button. And if you want, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.